Hello everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about some marketing tips and scheduling for fall courses. So, as we know, this year is going to be different from other years. Some schools are opening back up, but they may be doing like an augmented schedule like a couple days at school, some online at home, some are just doing purely at home, so, so there's a lot going on. Lots of parents who want to keep their kids home this year because of uncertainty and um, not thinking that they're and thinking that their kids may not be able to keep masks on all day and things like that. So, there is going to be a high demand. So, um, OutSchool just sent a message, and um, they're talking about you need to start thinking about the fall and scheduling. And so they have some scheduling and marketing tips that um, because they're going to do a big marketing push after the first of August. So, um, they are um, encouraging teachers to get ready for that. So. Um, parents uh, and families, out school families, are they tend to bulk enroll in semester long and ongoing classes in August and September to fill out their whole fall schedules. So, um, what you need to start doing is um, start setting up those classes now, having them scheduled, be ready for that big push and that big marketing uh, push that's going to happen in August. So, um, schedule semester long courses. So, this helps parents who want that consistent schedule. They want um, uh, a semester long class is at least eight weeks or more. They are taught in a live format. They have sections scheduled starting between mid to late August and November, like all the way till November and December. So um, cover topics that would typically be deemed core subjects. So math, science, English, history, world languages, government, blah, blah, blah. So those are going to be in high demand, especially if people are going to start homeschooling. They're going to be looking for ways to help with that. Um, offer weekly ongoing classes. So um, this lets... Um, then be able to drop in and out of classes without having that background, needing that background knowledge so they can try out different things. They can have social environments. They can have some outlets and arts and other things, um, maybe crafts, uh, sports, things like that. So try and have some of those. So with an ongoing class, you need to try and have it be at the same time for multiple weeks so then parents can just drop in and out or maybe stay in the whole time. Um, they're taught in a live format and they have sections scheduled starting at the same time. So try and have your fall schedule open. Um, and then experiment with formats, topics, and timing. So um, there's going to be different needs um, for families this year. So try different times, different durations, um, different days. Um, and they said, we recommend three plus available sections per class for the best parent response. So you want to make sure that there's options for them. And then um, some may be looking for weekly classes while others may be looking for multi-day camps. So it's just having these options available for parents. And so... Um, they just uh, they said based on past seasons, family will be families will begin planning their 2020 semesters as early as August, and continue to enroll through the end of September. So just keep that in mind. Um, so uh, if you guys have any questions, I would recommend um, enroll. Uh, you can subscribe to teach.outschool.com, and you can get all these updates as soon as they happen. And um, also, you can ask me questions. Hopefully, I'll know the answers. Um, there's also the Facebook group that always keeps people up to date, but hopefully this will help you when you start planning for those core classes and social interaction classes. Those are going to be the high demand, so look for doing that in the fall. And happy teaching, and hopefully you get lots of enrollment.